Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. We have the most feared part two reveals. Remember, this stuff is gonna be dropping tomorrow afternoon at 1:30 p.m. I do want to give a shout out to Terrence Ferguson for being a part of the Nobody Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. To notification bell on and comment down below. Nobody Gang. Also, guys, if you missed out on the payout booster specials today, then don't miss out on the next ones. Check out Underdog Fantasy and use code Zerk. It'll double your first deposit up to $500. And not only will you guys get this Derek Carr 0.5 total yard special for thursday night football tomorrow but you will also get this lebron james 0.5 point special for tuesday night with the opening night of the nba yes i will be doing some nba picks we actually did really really good last year with nba picks as well and if you guys follow me over on twitter i will have my picks for thursday night football out sometime tomorrow early afternoon but check out Underdog Fantasy, use code ZERK, don't miss out on all these specials. And before we go over the most feared reveals, I do want to say this, guys. Yes, the EA stream was just live, may still be going on by the time you guys are in this video, I'm not entirely sure here. Uh, but you had to watch the stream for two hours to get the free Isaiah Palomao. I reminded you guys a ton. If you guys are not already following me over on Twitter, you need to be turn the notification bell on because I remind you guys about stuff like the EA stream that you had to watch for two hours to get Isaiah. There isn't another stream, there's no other way to get the Isaiah. If you missed out, you missed out. All right, guys, so we have the most feared part two cards to go over now. Again, remember this stuff does drop tomorrow afternoon, not in the morning, tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. Starting off, we have the 83s. We have 83 DJ Jones, 83 Blockshed, 70 Speed, 73 Excel, uh, 85 Strength. We also have Brian Robinson. By the way, they didn't showcase anything going on with the store, you know, special offers, anything like that, so... I don't know. We'll see tomorrow when that stuff drops in the game. But Brian Robinson, 82 speed, 84 Excel, 84 trucking. Kind of surprised he only got 83. I feel like, you know, he's been having a pretty good year. Thought he would have got a bigger card. Uh, Jonathan Jones, 86 speed, 86 Excel, 83 man, 77 zone, 84 press. We also have 83 overall Dan Moore, 88 strength, 86 pass block, 82 run block on him. We have 83 Devontae Wyatt, 82 speed, 87 Excel, 86 strength, 80 block shed, 83 Andrews Pete, 84 strength, 81 pass block, 84 run block. 83 Zayvon Collins with 82 speed, 83 Excel, 77 block shed, and then 83 overall Tyler Conklin with 83 speed. Getting the 87s, by the way, these 87s, if you guys have like been holding on to your free 87 overall pack, tomorrow when this stuff drops, it should be updated in there, by the way. Uh, I think I may make a video in the morning going over the best free 87 overall to pick from part one and part two. Of course, you can always wait for part three, but part two actually has some solid cards. You may just want to go and pick your card now, so I'll probably make that video in the morning. Jalen Phillips, though, 85 speed, 87 Excel, 87 finesse move, 82 block shed. We also have Landon Dickerson. 87 run block, 87 strength, 84 pass block. We have Kazir White, 86 speed, 86 excel, 85 hit power on him. Mac Jones, most feared by Bill Belichick and Patriots fans, I guess. 80 speed somehow, 86 throw power, 88 short. Uh, we have 87 Jalen Petre. 88 speed, 90 excel, 84 zone, 76 hit power, 87 Jawan Johnson with 87 speed, 67 run block, 84 catch and traffic. That is it for the 87s. Now getting into the 90 overalls, guys, we do have Jonathan Allen. These are the Arcana players, so they come with abilities on them. You can always take them away if you don't want them. Uh, Jonathan Allen has or El Toro. Uh, he has 90 block shed, 90 power move, 89 strength, so doesn't have 92 block shed, does not get inside stuff. I don't care about the card. Adam Prentice, we get a fullback with Bulldozer, 87 speed, 90 strength, 88 carrying, 80 run block, 90 lead block, and 82 impact block. We also got Johnny Hecker, yes, a fullback and also a punter. 88 kick power, 90 kick accuracy. I believe he has inside dead eye for his ability, so... Yeah, again, you can take the ability off if you don't want it. Uh, and then we also have Zach Martin, the GOAT, best right guard of all time. 89 pass block, 89 run block, 89 strength. And yes, he has post up for 2AP. That's actually a big time W right there. So Zach Martin, uh, love the card. 
best offensive lineman in the NFL, best offensive lineman in Madden, and if he's not on your team, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, definitely no Cowboys bias there. We also have Laramie Tunsil, who is an LTD. Their card art is insane. He has Edge Protector, which I'll be honest, I don't really feel like you need right now this year, uh, but he has 91 pass block, 88 strength, 88 run blocking as well. And the other LTD, guys, is Amani Hooker with 89 speed, 91 excel, 87 man coverage, 91 zone, and 74 hit power. Also, a lot of people are actually tweeting me asking, should you pick up Amani Hooker or should you go for Buda Baker? Buda Baker is actually going for around 420,000 coins, has the same speed, 90 acceleration, uh, has 87 man, 90 zone, but but actually has hit power at 89. So they're just like extremely, extremely similar to be completely honest. Uh, really the only difference there would be the height. Buda Baker, of course, is only 5'10", and Amani Hooker is 5'11". So there's really no difference in between the cards except for the hit power there between Amani and Buda. Uh, we'll take a look, I guess, at Block Shed maybe tomorrow when uh, this card comes out, but... I mean, if he's a cheap LTD, I guess you just go with him for the rental price, to be honest, because you don't really see that many fumbles this year. Then we got Anthony Walker. Guys, again, I'm just going to bring this up. What did I say to you guys on Saturday about buying Patrick Willis for 1.7 million coins? Not only did we get a Jordan Hicks middle linebacker today with Team of the Week who gets Lurk Artist, Anthony Walker also gets Lurk Artist. You can literally pick up Anthony Walker and Jordan Hicks and get Lurk Artist on two middle linebackers, run them in the middle, and uh, yeah, you'll get them for cheaper than Patrick Willis's in total. So yeah, after uh, quite a few years of me playing Madden, you kind of learn how EA works here. But Anthony Walker, 89 speed, 90 excel. Yes, he gets Lurk Artist. He has 87 block shed, can't cover, so you definitely want a user on him. That's kind of the only issue though, is that he doesn't have good zone, and neither does Jordan Hicks. You probably just want to run like one of those guys in the middle, and then uh, probably just run a safety still. But either which way, uh, either of these guys are going to be great, great user cards. So Anthony Walker, Jordan Hicks today, two middle linebackers they released in the last five days after Patrick Willis. Next up, Geno Smith, 82 speed, 89 throw power. Uh, good throwing stats. Doesn't get hot on master. He gets gunslinger. So again, another quarterback kind of just to throw into there that is not the best QB in the game is a usable quarterback. He's literally... Uh, essentially, you know, if you throw Gunslinger on a quarterback, guys, they all have the same release. So take Geno Smith, and then you take Jared Goff, who just came out today. Geno's just a faster Jared Goff. That's basically it. There's, like, no difference in between those two. Uh, and then this card is good, except for the catch of traffic. Only an 84, but I don't really think that's going to be that big of an issue. Jamar Chase, guys. I know you're excited for Jamar Chase. I am, too. 91 speed. He has 84 catch traffic, 89 spectacular catch, 87, 87, and 90 for the routes. And obviously, Jamar Chase is always very, very good after the catch. So, Jamar Chase, I feel like, is by far the best card of this release. Obviously, the most hype card of this release. Uh, Gino's just another QB to add in there. Anthony Walker, Lurk Artist, great user card. Don't leave him in coverage by himself. Uh, Amani Hooker, very, very similar to Buddha, just not as good hit power. Tunsil, good left tackle. And Zach Martin, really, really good card. Gets post up as well. Uh, as for Johnny Hecker, he's a punter, a fullback, and then uh, a DT. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. As I said, I will likely catch you guys in the morning with maybe the best free 87 overall pick for most fear. Uh, of course, you know, you can go ahead and pick a free 90 overall as well if you guys have already completed the most feared field pass. So I might make a video going over the best free 90 and the best free 87 overall to pick as of this very moment. If you know, you guys are curious about that. I can drop that and then probably do an updated video with part three in case you guys want to pick one from part two. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zark. Don't miss out on those boosters and specials. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.